Welcome to another episode of Aaron Plays. In this episode, I'll be playing a scenario from Wing Leader um, from the Origins um, expansion module. It will be scenario 003, which is called Warsaw Concerto. Uh, the Origins pack um, came with 29 new aircraft, 26 new scenarios. Um, and this is the Wing Leader expansion pack number three. Um, this scenario pitches uh, two um, attacks of German bombers um, escorted. Um, the first attack you've seen on here is with Dornier 17s. Um, they are to attack an airfield. And the Heinkel 111s here are to attack. A bridge and these targets are just slightly off screen if I scroll the map over here. Okay, the airfield is unprotected, the bridge has got some small arms flak. Um, if the Germans decide to, to, to bomb low, defending against this, there are two full squadrons of this P 11 and two flights of P 11s as well. Okay. Um, defend or escorting these bomb runs in. We have a BF 110 over here, escorting, and two BF 109 squadrons over here. On this side here, I put the wing displays. Um, hopefully, you guys will be able to see them. Try to put as much information on the screen as possible. Um, and I've got the die rolling off, off screen. Oh, I can bring it on. Um, as you can see here, yeah, that does the 2D6. You see the result. No 1D6, see the result there. Um, the, one of the advantages of Vassal is you can label these things. So there's no itself. put the word airfield on this aircraft to remind me that these guys are targeting the airfield and the word bridge over here to remind myself that these guys are targeting the bridge because in the, in the heat of the action, I'll probably forget. There, I will now go through the, what the scenario's background is. Um, so I'll read, read that through. Um, there are some Polish words in there. I'll probably make a complete hack off, um, but I'll, I'll try my best. Um, I then go through the special rules of the scenario. I'm not going to go into detailed rules of the game. There are many videos on Board Game Geek or on um, YouTube which do that. Though when it comes to any specific, um, whilst doing the battles, I will go through in detail um, the choices, actions, die roll modifiers that apply and such forth. Um, I will be spending a little bit more detailed time on the actual bomb runs and so on. Um, the two reasons for this, um, that's classed as advanced rule. Um, I haven't done many bomb runs myself for quite a while, so I'll be relearning those sections of the rules. Um, so I'll probably be making mistakes. So anything that's picked up, please mention in the comments. Um, so yeah, let's find out what this scenario is actually about. So the background, Warsaw, Poland, September, 1939, first September. So it's the first day. After the morning probe attack on Warsaw, the weather improved. Luftfeld one was able to attack in strength, intensifying its attacks on peacetime airfields and the capital but missing many of the Poles dispersed airstrips. In the afternoon, waves of bombers were launched against Oseshi, Mokotau, Boklaw, and the Vistula bridges. Single and twin engine fighters, the latter piloted by Lijon Condonaire veterans, accompanied the bombers, which were engaged in fierce battles by the remaining aircraft of Brigada Potsigawa, Pursuit Brigade. At around 1700, a force of Heinkels and Dorniers ran into the 112th and 113th fighter squadrons on the approaches to Warsaw. Okay, that's the background. Now the special rules. Um, the Polish squadrons use rigid doctrine. I mark that as here. Now these two are flights, but um, as it says in the actual core rules, if doesn't mention otherwise treat flights as squadrons. So if they wanted the flights to be different, it would have mentioned there. 
radio. The P11s have radio. Um, the radio nets. Um, oh no, I'll read that again. So no P11 squadrons have radios, and none of these guys have radio. Right, that would be that's a big difference. Some position is above, so directly above. Um, it tells me where to place uh, the wispy clouds and broken clouds. Um, special rules use the bombing attack rules. Um, bombers cannot change altitude before they commence their bombing profile. So these guys will be coming in at this altitude and that altitude, so coming in low. Um, the DO 17s attack the airfield, as denoted. Um, and the hind calls the bridge. Sign the bridge target a flak rating of S0, which stands for small arm zero. I've actually marked that on there as well. Um, though that will only affect anything in that square, because um, small arms only affects the actual square itself. So if the bombers are at this height, I can't see the flak being of uh, much use. Um, Assign the green marker to a BF-109 squadron, as can see seen here. BF-109 up there has been given a green. Okay. Assign one Polish veteran marker to a flight. So the G and S of flights. One has got a veteran marker. Um, all veteran fighter squadrons have tactical flexibility. So they can split if they wish. In air combats where the BF 110s are the primary combatant, the German player adds an additional plus one to his combat role. Not what sure what that's trying to represent, but maybe this is, oh, well, I suppose they're veterans, aren't they? He did mention that they were from the Legion Condor. So that's probably why they've got that. And I've marked that on there because again, in the heat of battle, I would probably forget to do that. And the determination of the Polish squadrons gives them an additional plus one modifier to cohesion checks. And I put that as a label as well to remind myself. Because again, in the heat of battle, I would probably forget to do that. Bridge conditions at game end. Total up each side's victory points. Subtract the Polish victory points from the Germans to see who wins. 9.5 or less is a Polish victory. 10 to 13 and a half is a draw, and 14 or more is a German victory. Um, so each of these targets here are worth 10 VP um, if they get uh, knocked out, um, requiring six hits of uh, each. So unlikely that they will take full damage, but hopefully they will take some. Okay. Right, so that is the setup. Um, I will be moving into turn one in uh, the next video. This is just as a, a run through of the, the setup that's on here. The aircraft data cards, if you have Wing Leader and you wish to follow along with the numbers and ratings, I'm using the uh, P11C Polish. Dorna, Dornier 17Z2 card, the BF 109D Dora, the BF 110C, and the Heinkel 111H1. Um, if you don't have the game or don't have these data cards, I will be revealing the info because they don't come in the virtual module. You need these actually out to be able to play them. Each of these cards is on the front, it's got a picture of the aeroplane, absolute work of art by the des designer beautiful pictures, and it has all the game-related information on the front side. And on the reverse side, you have a history of each of the planes, brief history, it's only a, a paragraph, and any variants that might be required to, to run the scenario. So I think all these are using, the in this scenario, the standard settings. Okay, um, the information you get on these data cards for the combat side, you get the effects of their speed ratings, their turn ratings, their climbing ability, the bombers, the bomb loads, you get their fire powers, their protection, um, 
what bomb site is being used at varying altitudes as well. So, um, so I will go through each one of these. When, when we get into a, a, a fight, um, I will tell you what ratings are being used and hopefully you'll be able to follow on from there. Um, as you say, I've got the wing displays, the Polish being the red, the Germans the green. There's the bomb loads ready to go. The Germans are all on, fighters are on escort missions and they're unalerted. And the uh, Polish are on are alerted and on intercept. Um, die rolls will be done by the vessel dice. Okay, that's two d six, one d six. There, all ready to go. Um, I'll raise that up as as and when required. Um, so yes, so this is the introduction. Uh, like, subscribe. Hopefully, you'll follow me along. And any comments, if anything I've missed. Um, Thank you for watching.